Right, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be talking about automatic traffic sign recognition and the confusing thing that tends to happen in this car anyway, which is that it says a weird speed limit that isn't actually the speed limit. This will apply to people who live in countries where we use miles per hour or if you're visiting a country that uses miles per hour. Won't be an issue in, in countries that use kilometers an hour. Now if you have a look at this car, this Fiat 500e, it currently says the speed limit is 18. It's not, it's actually 30. Why is it saying 18? Well, it's because it thinks that the speed limit is 30 kilometers an hour and I can prove that. If I go into the unit setting and change it to kilometers an hour. Now you see it says kilometers an hour and the speed limit as 30 kilometers an hour. Change it back to miles. It says 18. Now how does the system work? This is going to get a little bit geeky but basically there's a camera sort of up here in the car and that reads the, the speed limit signs. Now it does also use mapping data to work out what the speed limit is but primarily it reads the speed limit sign and it, at the moment it's seen one or it thinks it, it's 30 and it just gets a number that's 30. And then the car has to decide whether that's 30 miles an hour or 30 kilometers an hour. Now the thing is that if I was to drive to France for instance, I'm in the southeast of England, just drive an hour's drive to France and I was to go past a sign that said 30, it would actually be correct for it to say the speed limit is 18 miles an hour. So the, the cars get two bits of information from the camera and the map. One is the speed limit, in which case at the moment it's 30, and it also has to decide whether that 30 is kilometres an hour or miles an hour, because the speed limit signs in the UK just say 30, and the speed limit signs in France just say 30. They don't say 30 mph and 30 kilometres per hour, they just say 30. So the car gets two bits of information. One is the speed limit, which is 30, and then it has to decide whether that's miles an hour or kilometres an hour. And the way it gets the, that piece of information is from the mapping data. So the sat-nav in the car sends the instrument cluster a bit. It's either miles an hour or kilometres an hour. And at the moment it's got confused because it's been sent the wrong bit from the sat-nav. So its default state is always going to be kilometres an hour because the vast majority of the world uses kilometres an hour. So, and it's also going to display a lower speed limit. So by default it will think it's 30 kilometres an hour and it will convert that into whatever unit you set. So like I say, if I come into here, I set it into kilometers, it just says 30. But this works, this will work backwards. So if you're in France and you see a sign that says 50, it will convert that into miles an hour, or it will also, if you've set your speedometer into, into kilometers an hour, display it as 50. Um, and, and also if I was in the UK and uh, I had my uh, speed limit, um, my speedometer set in kilometers an hour and it saw a sign um, that for example was um, y you know um, 70 um, it would say 112 kilometers an hour in this in this bit in here so you've got to understand with these car systems that actually this instrument cluster has its own computer and the sat nav which is over this way has its own computer as well so that's why you get these confusing things. It will only be an issue in this car um, when you are in a country that uses uh, miles an hour. Um, and as I say, it defaults to the, to the lower unit. But um, if, you get, if you're in this, this particular car and you, it keeps coming up with these ridiculous speed limits, it's actually correct. It's just interpreted them wrong. Uh, turn the sat nav on and off and that should fix the problem. And like I say, it's getting a speed um, piece of speed data from the, from the camera. And it's going, okay, well, what does that unit actually mean? Does that mean kilometers an hour or miles an hour? It then asks the sat nav, well, where am I? Am I in the UK or, um, or the United States of America or, um, or am I in any of the other countries? So when it go, if it doesn't get an answer from the sat nav, it will just say, well, <laughs> I presume it's kilometers an hour. And it's quite conceivable, for instance, if you were in um, the island of Ireland and you were going between the Republic of Ireland 
and Northern Ireland. Um, Republic of Ireland uses kilometres an hour and Northern Ireland uses miles an hour. And you can go on a drive where you go do 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 over the border and the speed limit signs are obviously changing all the time. The car should keep up with this because it knows exactly where it is from the sat nav. But it's when that information falls out of sync that you get these weird speed limits. So I hope that explains things. Um, it's actually a pretty good system but there is that little glitch to it and it's just down to the way that cars are engineered that the the systems all interface on um, on these networked CAN buses and, and um, similar systems it's not like one central computer in the car that gets all the information each uh, each computer is f able to operate on its own almost but sometimes it will just miss a message from another unit and you'll get a weird sort of error. But um, I hope that explains things. It's nothing to worry about, and it can normally be cured by just turning the sat-nav on and off in this particular car, the Fiat 400e. But this should apply to lots of other cars as well. So I hope that's interesting. Thanks for watching, and uh, tune in for more.